This is a Mumble Sauce remix. Welcome to DC. And I saw this chair and voted Big G for the mayor. I sent the prayer up to Scotty Beach. The city bought the blow, I feel it in the air. air. Red stems for life, my celeb friends. Raheem Devon, Wale for Lauren. And I'm Tabernay, DC is on. Uh, 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 gone. Well, let me welcome y'all to DC. When any given day we wear Friday Gucci. When stars come to town, we don't act like we Matter of fact, we act like we the ones in the movies Boy, we so flat to the point that we bougie When we going out of town, luggage got to be Louis Girls spin a house you notes know, on Chanel and Fendi They don't care, it's their boyfriend money to spend it Right now, man. Welcome to Washington, D.C. We call it the DMV. Stands for D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. E-Life Media, the ultimate media outlet. You are tuned into the Heartbeat Congo Hour, powered by live music for you. It is me, your man, DJ D-Money. I am sitting in the spinners tonight, filling it in. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to have a good time tonight. I promise you, we are going to celebrate the life of the helicopter, better known as Little Benny here in the nation's capital. We are going to party. We're going to have a good time. You all understand what I'm talking about? Welcome to E-Life Media. Welcome to the Congo Heartbeat Congo Hour. Powered by live music for you. You already know, man. I don't care what's going on in your life. Just remember that uh, it's a beautiful life. Here's the godfather of go-go, Mr. Chuck Brown. What a beautiful life. All that I've got is all that I need. I got you, baby. You got me. What more could I ask for? Beautiful life. I woke up this morning, y'all The sun was shining oh so brightly I thought about how good this life is Back in the day, it wasn't always like this I think about the things we done been through I think about the place that I come from 
It wasn't always easy, so every day I'm thinking God for the beautiful people everywhere I go. I just need to see your smiling faces at my show. And when you're feeling real love from the family, every day is a gift, y'all. That's all I need. What a beautiful life. All that I've got, all that I need. I've got you, baby, you got me. What more could I ask for? Beautiful life. To get it, then we gotta work hard, y'all. Every day, and don't pay attention to the things they say when they tell you that you can't make it, but you can if you try, y'all. When life is rough, I know sometimes you wanna cry, y'all. Just keep the faith and don't question. Ain't no need of stressing. Your life is still a it's blessing. Not about the cars, the money, or the clothes. You can believe these things will only come and go, but when you're getting real love from everyone you meet. It's a blessing, y'all. It's magic, y'all. What a beautiful life. All that I've got, all that I need. I've got you, baby, you got me. What more could I ask for? Beautiful life. Beautiful life. And now we all been blessed to be here, so it ain't no need for stress. We don't worry about the things that we can't control, we just pray and hope for the best. You don't need a whole lot of money, you don't need no fancy car. You ain't gotta be famous or a movie star, just be happy with who you are. You got some food on the table and a place to live, and that's a beautiful life. You got somebody you can love, family and some kids, and that's a beautiful life. You got money in your pocket just to pay your bills, and that's a beautiful life. Just to make it through the struggle, and you still be here, and that's a beautiful life. Okay, wind me up. DC, stand up. The Godfather. I got you. You spoiling me now. Six years later, still the talk of the town I put myself on, and then I put my team on too Take on my BET, I built my drink on hold Till I believe that, and I mean that, there will be no flow If you ain't seen that tune, we see police run Joe You put DC on first, I put us all on next And now it's all on me, to keep your name on deck Okay, yeah. the Godfather, gotta know that it's not a problem Been in the pocket like I tie the Saviata Praying for a better manana. I hope I'm making you proud. I'ma rep you with honor. Every beautiful spirit. Word. How your music get nearest. Word. When I got that award, it felt like you got this shit with me. Yes. Ha. Life's good, still it's getting better. Still pray for Low and Benny. Amen. Tell KK hold a header. A lot of done it, but not too many that done it better. Forget a record for all you done. You deserve a medal. medal. A yeah. toast, a yeah. two for jump. Yeah. EU for yeah. ashes. Go yeah. back and G. UCB, TCB, hold C. Rest in peace. This for you. All that I've got, all that I need, I got you, baby, you got me. What more could I ask for? Yeah. Beautiful life, beautiful life, beautiful life. Greatest ever do it. Beautiful life, best ever do it. Beautiful life, amen. Beautiful life.
about to act up. Disrespect the hood, I wish a nigga would. Make me open up your head like a can good. We get it all day, so many honey buns. You can't even see from the curb to the archway. This ain't the old days, and I ain't telling y'all but once. Don't be hanging in my baby mama hallway. Where that money at? Up in the alley. Plus we got the junkyard fan CD. What you need that? That blue steel money. We can feel money. That real to real money. Check a deal money. Got a little hottie. A cold free body. And then she body body. We get a new Bugatti. Stand still. And then hell. Then we gon' yell like a nigga yell by hell. You sippin' on your martini. Hey. I wanna see your bikini. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be the best night of your life. It is me, your man, DJ D-Money, inside the spinners. You're tuned in to E-Life Media, man, powered by live music for you. Welcome to the Heartbeat Congo Hour, broadcasting live from the nation's capital. We call it the DMV, stands for D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Tonight, inside the Heartbeat Congo Hour, I promise you, we are going to be celebrating the life of one of our own, a legend in himself. It is his B-Day. We are going to celebrate it. I'm talking about the helicopter, a.k.a. known as Little Benny. I think we might have some masters in the building. We might have some real close friends and family that was, uh, you know, associated with this cat. And uh, I promise you, I'm going to put some of them tasty tunes that he used to put down all inside your speakers tonight this is how we getting down it is e-life media the ultimate media outlet powered by live music for you once again it is me your man dj d money broadcasting from the nation's capital you keep it locked right here uh yeah and everybody that's watching you already know let's go let's have some fun Like 
Mixes Abba DJ It's DJ Money Yeah, 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 we's in the building, we live now, y'all. 
It's your boy Heartbeat, y'all. It's Devin Tuesday night, 8, 10 p.m. on Elite Media. That's that Power by my live music for you.com, family. Check it out, y'all. Here I shotgun me. Every Tuesday night, y'all. Every Tuesday night, I got my main member the Go Go Report, Ernest L. He's in the building, man. Yo, yo, what up? What up, fam? What, what it up? do, man? Everything good? Everything good, man. This go-go movement, man. It's all How about good, that? Man. And my special guest DJ tonight is my main man, the one and only. DJ D Money. Yeah. It's in the building. What's it do? My man. What it do? Man, Once again, he came on through, man. We got the celebrities coming on through here, man. You know what it is tonight, y'all. We celebrating the life of the one and only, the helicopter, the greatest that ever do it to me. Lil Benny, man. Happy birthday, Lil Benny, man. We got a host of people coming through here tonight, y'all. Curry Lambert's in the building already. We got my main man Keith just came on through. These are the guys that's on uh, Go Go Live, actually. Uh-huh. Ben. Got the bass player and a drummer. <laughs> uh, the drummer that night, but he also plays bass and uh-huh. a host of other things, man. Meantime, screen time, y'all. It's going to be a, a historical evening this evening, man. We waiting on everybody to get up in here. We got Jungle Boogie coming through, man. White Boy hit me up, man. We got um, Maniac Lawrence supposed to be coming through here, oh, man. man. DC. Um, Sax player? Yeah, DC. My man. Um, a host of guys, man. Kigo. Oh, my goodness. Kigo's coming through, man. We got um, uh, Funk might come through. He told me he's going to try to make it through here, man. And Marky might come through. Um, who else is coming through? White Boy supposed to be coming through. Go Go Mickey coming through. Okay. Uh, so, look, whoever pops through that door, man, don't be surprised, man. You know how it is. It's Tiffany and it's never too down. Hobby Kong guy, man. We do this well and we do it well, man. Shouts out to DJ D Money for coming through once again, man. Having my back like a Cadillac slack. Yes, sir. I'm trying to kidnap him and make him a, a, a regular part of the show, man. So we're going to talk <laughs> afterwards, man. We're going to make this, we gonna make this pop off. We got Rudy, Rudy, and Tony Shop coming through the door now. They're pouring in as we speak, man. So keep it locked as we rock on the number one show on Go Go. That's what they told me. They called me to see Harvey Go That's what they told me, too. Darren X is in the build, man. Program director doing his thing as usual. Off the fizzle for shizzle, my nizzle. Right. Go Go Report. What's good? What's man. good with you, Ernest L? Hey, man, you know, go, go, man, you know, keep this thing you? alive, you know? Man, let's, let, let's go to a little crank break for two minutes. We're going to come back and talk to Ernest Z, man, before we get this thing kicked off, all right? So keep it locked with me, Rock Hobby, Conga, I have one show with Go, Go, we like me, that's that, Power by Live Music for you.com, 8 to 10 p.m., each and every Tuesday night, man. Let's get it, D-Money! Yeah, yeah. Do it, y'all. We're going to 
take a little time, let's warm up for y'all. We're coming to get, 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 get on down now. Oh, do it, y'all. We get down there. We got all the technicians. We got the big brother that needs it. All right. Get, get, get on down now. Say what now? Pretty woman on the market. I said what now? Oh, get it, y'all. Do it. Looking for your act. Say what now? Tag them up, market. I said what now? Right now, I'll do it, y'all. Warming on up now. Stick it in the pocket, I'll do it, y'all. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Do it, got it. I said, why? I said, why? I'll do it. Get it, y'all. Talk that stuff now. Is that the big brother? <laughs> we love to see you with your boogie down, y'all. Oh, get it, y'all. I said, what now? Warming on up. Warming on up. Ah, we love to see you boogie when you're doing it, y'all. I said, what? Hey, Reed, you already warming on up, big brother? I said, what? He's on the nigga, off of him. I'm upset. Love, what you doing, y'all? And we see y'all ain't making no noise out there. Everybody just standing around, looking around, y'all. We thought y'all want to party down. Oh, we love to see your boogie when you boogie it down. Play your horn, Reed. Really. I said, what? Oh, do it. Oh, eat it, y'all. I said, what? Talk that thing that you doing now. What you doing, yo? Oh, get it, girl. I said, what? Open up all the cars and pass through, y'all. <laughs> all right, now. Give me the top, y'all. I said, what? Well, look here. We got a Bobby Kong, I used to never choose tonight, 8 p.m. on you like me, that doesn't have by live music for you. That calm, man. It's your boy, Hot B, Ernest Hill, riding shotgun, the world famous Gogo Report. We got the legends just, just trolling up in here, man. We got Gogo Mickey up in here, just walked up in here. We got Rudy Rude, we got Keith Snowden. We got my main man, Terry Lambert, is up in here, man. We got Ernest L up in here. We got yeah. my main man, DJ D. Money. Boy, I'm glad my camera charged. Huh? Are you? I me some <laughs> historical pictures. Hey, man, I, it's going to be yeah. a historical. Either. That's what we do here, though, D-Money. It's always yeah. epic. Last week was epic. Like I said, you were coming oh, through, man. Oh, for sure, for sure. We had a good time, man. Got a Big lot Tony. of positive reviews from the footage, too. And I appreciate you giving us one on your show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said before, man, look. DJ, uh, DJ D-Money's on the party mode. He's he's a member of the legendary Dub Blend. First show that uh, ever interviewed me up there at Gogo Radio. Uh, we just doing big things here at Harvey Conga out, man. Uh, we got a big announcement coming to you later on this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Meantime, between time, you want to call in and holler at anybody, 240-455-5934. That's 240-455-5934. It's a half an hour past the uh, hour, 8 o'clock. L, L, what you do this weekend, baby boy? Man, I wanted to check that good seven band, man. Shout out to uh, D-Block, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it was, uh, they, they official. They official. They official? Rank, man. 
Yeah. So, so what they need, like two yeah. more, two more go? Yeah, two more joints like that, and they somebody getting bumped. Can't break yeah, this. they, 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 they definitely got it. Down there. Well, man, my, me, myself, and I, man, I went down Fast Eddie's, man, to check out Better Down in Familiar Faces. Yeah. That joint was flooded like Noah's Ark, man. Yeah, you know how, you know how I'd say Familiar get down there. Man, like they, that, that thing down know. there was, was crucial, man. Yeah, definitely. Crucial, that's how man. they get down, though, you know. That's home for them. Fast Eddie's, that's, you know, that's home. Man. Yeah, they man. They always gonna flood that joint. Always flooded, man. So, shouts out to my man, man, d Nut, my man, man, uh, uh, Los, man. Yeah, shout out for, to For Lose. taking care of brother, man. You know. And my main man, John, and, and, and Brian Law, Tim, man, for uh, put, hooking a brother up and putting brother down, man. I walked in that joint, man. We got so much love, man. Just let me say one thing. The Harvey Conga, I, man, is loud and kicking, man, because people was pulling on me left and right, bro. I was like, man, you know, they, people thanking me for the show, just giving us so much love, man. They watch us every week, man. And as you know, we are a TV show. You feel me? We live in HD, man. The phones were, you know what I'm saying? You know, every, you know, everything is, is right, doing right. what it's, it's called operational. To do, yeah. You know, I tried. I, I kind of got side swiped last week, man. But you know, God is a specializer. You know what I'm saying? Word. And I'm a trailblazer for the Lord, so He always got my back, man. Meantime, between time, D Money. Yes, sir. What it do, baby? Man, what's up, man? I'm, I'm fresh back off the road, man. You know me. I'm always on the move. On the move. That's I was my... doing it down there in Durham, man, this weekend. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. It was down there. It's a band down there called Project 919. We band. broke that joint, man. And uh, they, they, uh, uh, Carolina they, Matter of fact, we both broke that joint. Y'all yeah. broke the joint. We broke yeah. the joint. So, Carolina. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make sure I get that in tonight. But uh, I snuck down there, hollered at some folks, and right. checked them out. Right. And, uh, yeah, so I, I got on down there, man. This North Carolina showing a lot of love to the Go-Go. So That's wherever great, they man. showing love, I'm there. And, Money, what I want you to do, man, because we're going to uh, jump, in the, jump in the vehicle. Okay. Uh, Hobby Kong guy. We're going to go down Carolina, man. Let's I've been go. talking to some people down there. And, um, Let's go. We're going to get like four or, five, four or five bands put on a big card. It could be a, it could be a combination. It could be the Conga Eye in the, in the party mode. Let's in do the it. blend. We are. Let's take me, you, Nika Ray, Lonnie, uh, hey, uh, 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 Miss uh, Justice, B-Man. Everybody, everybody, everybody man. man. Let's make it a family affair. Go down there, man. Turn do. the party out, man. Turn hey, it okay, out, You man. already know how the blend go. We oh, the party man. before the party. Before the party. So you turns up the party. Hey, look man, look here. And it ain't no more family, man. That's so, what it is. So, meantime, time, time, if you out there hating on any of us, you know what I'm saying, don't want this camaraderie, <laughs> kill yourself. Yeah. Because we all we got, for real. Yeah. I like when they hate on me. We all we that got. That means I'm on their mind. Ain't that right, E? Yeah, how yeah, about man. that? You know, those haters, <laughs> man. Hey, they need to cut it, though. Need to cut it. I'm going to just print out these T-shirts with a pair of scissors on this joint. You need to do that, man. You'll sell a whole lot of them. Lonnie Love, my beautiful co-host just walked up in the building, man. Lonnie Love, come on over here, baby. She over there mingling and jingling like she always do, man. I ain't gonna rush you up over here, but look, uh, you need to get up on the air real quick, man, because we can set, we can set this thing on, on on swole in a minute, man, because we got too many celebrities up in this zone. In the meantime, twin time, look, we gonna go make this up in here. Rudy Rue up here. Wow. Terry Lambert here. Uh, my main man, uh, Keith Snowden up here. Kigo. Everybody's on the way, man. So this is gonna be another official, epic, auto automatic night. You understand know me? Hold uh, oh, on. Let me let me get you let me get you all uh, tuned up and ready to go. I feel like George. I feel like George Bush. Y'all, the pumpling is ready to go. <laughs> what's up, baby? What's up? I said, what's up, baby? I said, what's up, cuz? How you doing, man? I'm fine. How about you? Everything good. Yeah. I How was the weekend? How was the weekend? <sighs> it was a chiller. Yeah, a chiller? Yeah. Wow, you like some sneaky that, one. That, on. that means she turned up. It was a chiller. It was a chiller. Yeah. Okay. Well, good to see you here. We got we got uh. DJ Money riding shotgun again. I told him I'm gonna kidnap him, man. Make him yeah. make him part of the Congo. What's player. up? That's him. He's smelling good too. What's up, D Money? Boy, what, how what, you what, doing? What you got on? What's that called? Come get it or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we here for the Congo, eye, man. We look. We about to set some people down, man. Talk about my man, man, Lord Benny, the helicopter. To me, the greatest that ever did this. This man, Lord Benny. One thing about Lord Benny that actually captivated me back in the day, because my first time seeing Lord Benny was at Montgomery Blair High School. Uh, front line was Lil Benny, uh, Michael Muse, guy named Joy. Remember Joy back in the day? Yeah. Used to go with our cousin Trace. Joy was one of the first things for uh, RE actually. Uh, DC, one no Darnell Floyd was DC. Put it like this, the first official front line. And Lil Benny came in that jump. You thought you would have thought Mick Jagger walked up in there. Yeah. I mean they swarmed Lil Benny man, and, and he came in there man with them steps and that. The little man with the big sound, man. I know, right? Yeah. We miss him so much. Jill Greenlee's supposed to stop through too, man. Um, Shouts out to Jill. I, I seen a picture with uh, her and Benny. Jill was a little honey dip back then, man. <laughs> hey, and, and you know what? Jill had a, you know, 
Jill and, and Lil Benny had a real close relationship, bro. Yeah, real yeah close. I, I could tell that by that picture. You know? Real close relationship. We also got uh, Mickey up here. You know, Mickey and, and, and Benny was like yeah, freaking frack. Them two, man, you know, so like brothers. This is a this is a special night for Mick too, man, because I know how Mick felt about Benny and how Benny felt about Mick. So we're gonna we gonna sit the goat down in a minute, man, talking to him about Benny, man. Uh the, the whole the whole lifeline between those two because it's a very special lifeline. So we're gonna get it in tonight, DJ D Money, man. We we're gonna have some fun tonight, man. We're gonna we gonna laugh, we're gonna cry. You know me last week I was crying, man, people making fun. Let me tell y'all something. Yeah, but I'm an emotional dude, so I'm gonna cry from time to time. But it's a strong cry. Ain't nothing wrong Not with like crying, man. Hey, look. Yeah. Hey, 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 D-Money, I got one of them strong cries. Really? You know one of them cries when you, you try to be tough with it, but at the same time, you like... Pride joint. You, you yeah. Pride joint. Right. But the tears is, is flowing. It won't fall. That's how you, you know, do it. Written on people cry. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga stole my money, cry. But, but that's what it is, man. And, um... It was the reason why I did that, man. I let loose. But look, look, it's, it, I've never seen, what's that song? Never seen a, a grown man, I've never seen a man die till I've seen a man, man cry. cry. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is, man. But knock yeah. on wood, I don't plan on dying no time. Me time to me tell y'all it's 20 before the hour of 9 o'clock, man. We're going to come back and we're going to sit some of these letters down. Happy Conga, each number two tonight, 7 p.m. on YouLiveMedia.net, pop by live music for you.com. Ride the shotgun with Ernest Hale, Naughty Love, man. It's Conga. Especially guest DJ in the house tonight. We're going to kidnap him, like I said. It's DJ D Money, one of the best to ever do it to me because we was a little late at the gate. But one thing about DJ, DJ D Money, I could be 34 and 40 minutes late, and he's going to hold it down because he yeah. does this. He has his own show, so yeah, he does his it's thing. no problem. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing about the, uh, the advantage of having somebody like him on board. Yeah, like I said, I'm on kidnap.com. Uh, the mission has just now started. He was here last <laughs> week. On, uh-huh. <laughs> he was here kidnap. last week on the Big com. Tony induction. Now he's here on another epic night. I'm trying to prove something to him. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to prove something to him, you know. That's where he's supposed to it's be. It's real comfortable here. Woo. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Very comfortable. He could do he could do the party mode and the con guy. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, they have different nights, right? Okay, that's family. Yeah. That's family right there. So hey. And the thing about party mode, they they will welcome up here anytime he wants. Yep. You hear that B man? Bring the party I mean, bucket anytime you want, man. Cause we drink up here too, man. Word. This is Hobby Conga eye. Crank break coming up, DJ D Money Man. We're gonna, we're gonna sit down, go go make it. We're gonna sit down, Terry Lambert. And we're gonna sit down, my main man, Keith Swole. Snowden. I call him Swole because he's kind of. Swole. Getting swole. You know what I'm saying? He used to be a little pipe head on, but now them jumps pop out of cellar, man. Hoppy Conga, man. Let's go, D Money! Let's go!
God Almighty, man. Good God Almighty, mighty, 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 mighty. Good God Almighty, good God Almighty. Hey, look here, man. Look here, ladies and gentlemen, look. If you're looking at your camera, live in HD right now, ladies and gentlemen, all across the world. Oh, yeah, shouts out to the same old pub that watch us each and every Tuesday in Germany. It's a pub, 60 deep in that joint, watching us on a big 200 screen, uh, foot screen TV right now. So everybody wave at the cameras, wave at them. They're looking at y'all right now. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, uh, we're celebrating the life of the, the goat Lord of Benny tonight, man. It's his birthday. We're celebrating his life. We're going we gonna to talk about him. We're going we gonna to honor him, man, and just... All the accolades go to Lil Benjamin because one for him, a whole lot of things in Go-Go, as we speak right now, would not be going on. So we're going to celebrate the helicopter tonight, the meantime, time between time. Let me go around the room and introduce you to these lovely, lovely, lovely Go-Go legends. First of all, let me start to my left and your right. My main right here, if you're looking at uh, Go-Go Live 1, you was playing drums on that jump. Yes, you were. You got to ask him. He's playing drums. He's playing Rotatom. Yeah, percussion. Who was, who, hold on, who was playing drums? Kiko was playing drums, Keith was playing bass. No, not on Go Go Live 1. Yeah. Which one was me? I played it. Oh, see, I, no. I thought he said Go Go Live 1 Go with the blue shirt. Oh, yeah, I was playing drums. I know you. Come on, yeah, man. You trying to make me look bad? It's a video tape for uh, a note? I mean, no, after the, no, no, I did too. I got all That's when my Congos fell over. It's a video <laughs> tape for that? Like the. the girl Brooks, got it. Oh, but anyway, look. Terry Lambert, Lil Benny the Masters, bass player and drummer. What it do, Terry? How you doing, man? Great. Great, man. Glad to be here. Second man in charge right here, man. He was on Google Live, too, with, with Lil Benny and the Masters, man. I call him Pluckety Pluck Pluck. And he don't give a fuck. Put your hands together for Keith, man. My man, man, Keith Snowden, man. Lil yeah, Benny, bass player. Uh, last but not least. Now, y'all done seen this dude on here about five times, and I'm the only one that could do that, okay? I got that bragging right. I'm the only one that can get the gold in here this many times. This is the busiest Congo player in show business right now. Um, I, 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 I call him the Miltrix. Let me see. The, the Bionic Man. Uh, the Miltrix is just like his alter ego. But he turns into the Miltrix. You know, when, when Don L like, you know. No, God! Make God! But there's one particular solo the other night I was looking at on, uh, on Facebook, man. Uh, my main man Newman from... Uh, the Michael Solo I put up when Mick was knocking mics and stuff over. But, you know, you turn it to the Miltrix. And people are like, what do you mean by the Miltrix? Y'all wouldn't understand, man. He turns into another character. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands for the greatest to ever do it, man. My main man, Go-Go Mickey, is in the building right now. Wow. This is going... Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Let's start with Terry. Terry, what it do, man? How you feeling, man? Great, man. Like I say, glad to be here. Glad you're here, man. Uh, yeah. What 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 is your most memorable uh, experience with your boy, Lil Benny, man? And I know you got a lot of stories. We're gonna keep it short. But what, what, what which one which one really sticks out to you? Man, that, that's some tough one. I didn't think I'd get asked that question, but uh, oh man. Well, one of the funniest ones was. One of the times we were rehearsing for the Capitol Center show, you know, I, I, you may have been, you know, so many band members, and, you know, Benny had a tendency sometimes at a show, he'll stop you right in the middle of something and try to change something, so we were rehearsing. Right. We, we, we arguing all night, I'm like, man, look, man, you can't do that in the middle of the show, I'm not gonna know what you're gonna do, do you mean this, do you mean that, you can, I know you can attest to this. Oh, yeah. So we arguing all night for the Capitol Center show, so when we get to the Capitol Center and we playing, First thing Benny does is turn around, and look at me, and I'm on John. He said, "What we doing next?" <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> man, that that kind of sticks out to me, man, because it was more or less funny than anything else. Because knowing we were arguing all night the night before, and I'm, I'm back on the drum, he was like, "What we doing next?" So I had to whisper to him while we playing, kind of like he had to read right. my lips. But then he was one of them kind of guys, man. When we were playing, he would we would be playing something, and then all of a sudden he'll turn around in the middle of something and do this, and you like, "What?" Oh yeah. So that yeah, you had so you had to be playing with him for a while to right. kind of like get where he was going. So no. it took me a minute to do that, but after that, you know, we were we were in sync no matter what was happening. That's what it is, man. Um, and, and, and the thing about that situation when I look at the Google Live one with you guys, man, you guys to me uh, the clip went long enough. Oh my god. Because you guys, man, were getting it in. You know what I'm saying? Well, the little bitty in the masters. You know, it was three funny. minutes. Young. It was funny because when I first saw it, and we went off, 
what I did at the time we had VHS was for y'all who, for the youngsters that don't know. I fast forward the tape and I said, we, we must go come on again somewhere. So I fast forward and kept fast forward. I said, oh man, I got to the end. I said, that's all they showed of us. Yeah. So it was, you know, it was very disappointing. Shoot, look at, shoot, Hacko Sweat and Lorenzo, this show, what, 20 seconds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was very disappointing though, man. But all in all, I mean. Part of history, man. Enjoy watching these. At least watching the other bands play, but I that's thought that's we should have got at least more than three. I think what I timed it like, though? No, nah. because they show. Well, put it this way: the time Tyrone played, they, they didn't show none of that, man. I was mad. In the man. beginning of the, if you see the yeah, they show him. The beginning they show him. him playing, so right. that's when he was on stage with, right, him, with right. the band. Because so. there was a portion during that show where Elmo and Jungle Boogie was on the stage, and Benny would give it to Jungle Boogie, then he would give it to yeah, well, Elmo. They cut that part. Man, that, that Boogie, Boogie looks so sweet yeah. on that dude. Yeah. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, yeah. the, the little yeah. short. The oh little my short. God, yo. Yeah. You, yeah. Come on, man. The yeah. people don't That's know. That's him doing see, his thing, you know. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I'm him and Mickey in one, in one person. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't call me Jungle Mickey. Hey. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> one of the things, I'm just glad I was able to be a part of it during that time. Because I know me and Mickey go like way, way back. I remember the reality days and I had my band Total Spirit. So I watched, I know where this brother's come from, but we've yeah. known for years. Yeah. So we, and that dude is truly the GOAT. Yeah. <laughs> truly. Yeah. Trust me. Let's go over here to uh, my man Keith. What's, what, what's your most memorable uh, situation with your man, uh, Lil Benny? Put that mic to you, baby. I, I think for me, it was uh, <clears throat> when we recorded Cat in the Hat. Um, I had a chance. Uh, that was like my first go go album. Really. Okay. And um, believe it or not, I would say probably uh, 50% of that album was spur of the moment right then and there we we came up with a lot of that when we came to the studio and then um so us coming together was pretty good i had a real good um relationship with me bula and then at that time we had kiko playing drums okay but the way um like ned and um you know how funky ned was with white boy and um me and bula and Marky, we you had a lock? chemistry. Oh man, we yeah. just had a chemistry where we can just, we would make up a lot of stuff on stage. And, and me coming from more R&B jazz background, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't come to the table really knowing a lot of go-go. Right. I knew a lot of music and a lot of jazz. So I, I would play a lot of jazz riffs and I was still a lot. From Ned and Byron, actually. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. they used to steal a who lot of them guys. Who better too? <laughs> and yeah. who didn't? Yeah, so a lot of their lead lines, I would just steal them, take them, practice them at home, put them in a song. And people probably would think that I'd make it up, but nah, I had practiced them. That's what it is. Glad to have you guys here because you guys are part of history. They go go live one um, VHS tape back then, which is now on DVD. That was probably uh, the biggest concert ever in our history. Because you had 19,000 to 20,000 people at the Capitol Center. Everybody just battleship that night with no fights. No fights. Patch. Never. We've never. We, I'm trying to make something like that happen again. Uh, to be continued later. Let's go over here to my main man. My brother from another the GOAT, man. Mickey's in the building. I, I know you got about, about a million stories about you, you, you and your man, dog. Yeah. And I was talking to Jill today, man. And I just want to put this out there, man. Because uh, she, she told me that you, you, and, uh, you and herself. And I'm going to be part of this too for now, man. Uh, every every um, every birthday you guys go to his uh, to his grave site. Birthday and Christmas and five uh, you know his death date five thirty. Five thirty. Yeah. And you were saying he, uh, yesterday that uh, his name is not up there yet, right? It's not gonna be. It's <laughs> it's not gonna never be there for a while. Put it that way. It's nothing to do with no uh, money. Okay. Because we all we could have right. We could have did this. Right. Everybody put in someone been up there. So. Oh, so okay. Well. We'll talk about it all. Yeah. Anyway, man, um, like I said, I know you have, have a million, million stories about you and, and my man. Yeah. Which I mean, one really sticks out to you the most, man? <laughs> I mean, a lot I can't talk about, but anyway. <laughs> right, right. Uh, you know, I always say people don't you know, get mad at me, and he never cursed me out. Right. But one night, he cursed me out. <laughs> <laughs> Cussed me out real bad. You know, it, it was something stupid to me. Right. I was so twisted. Oh, Lord. I forgot where I parked my car. 
I had him drive around to Cold Station for about an hour. <laughs> Sound like me. And him cussing me out for a whole hour. Man, what do you call it, man? <laughs> I can hear but that. I say like, what? I mean, like, you know, we played PlayStation, talked about the business, he had called me early in the morning. You want to make $75? Go well, right up to the jail. We will play one song when we out. This was before I, I knew of Oak Hill. Right. So we go to Oak Hill. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Next thing he said, you gonna have to now he gonna tell me you gotta play the drums. I say, okay, we get that. It's a gospel group. So a gospel group. We end up playing. We he had them playing gospel music, and he doing a rap to <coughs> never seen a man uh, cry, die. A man cry to a man die. <laughs> I couldn't believe oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's at the spare the moment, right? I was the blue. He said, you yeah. playing the drums? And he said, y'all know that? And they ain't know it. <laughs> so, play a gospel song. <laughs> and he did the Scarface jump. He started doing Scarface rap. <laughs> While the youngest walked. walked <laughs> <in>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> While they walked. That's how I learned. Real large. Oh, my God. Sitting here, man, with the go-go-go, making man, Terry Lambert. I mean, man, Keith Snowden, man. We sitting here, man, with the go 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 making man, Terry Lambert. I mean, man, Keith Snowden, man. We sitting here, man. Just celebrate, man, the life of this this young man. Uh, we call Lord Benny the helicopter man, aka the goat. This guy, like when you hear stuff, size him on up now. Nah. I'm just thinking about size him on up. Who would come up with something like that? Size him on up. It's a bad man, man. Hey, 10 p.m. y'all. Each and every Tuesday night, like me to that pie by live music for you. That comes the Hobby Con guy, number one show on Go Go. I am your boy, Steve Hobby at Go Go. That's what they tell me. Anyway, me tap between time we going back to Terry Land. But one more question, you Terry. Now, how in the hell did you go from drums to bass to bass to drums? Like, oh, that was simple. Um, guys were going in and out the band. <laughs> oh, okay. How, that's how that was. Um, I, actually, like I said, when I first started playing with Ben and them, man, they didn't know that drums wasn't my instrument. Right. It wasn't. And bass was always my instrument. So you, so, you just ended up on a drum? Um, yeah. I th um, one night, Keith and Kiko was late. And Shouts um, yeah. out to Kiko just walked in the door. Yeah, Kiko just walked in. <laughs> Smooth as knuckle. Yeah, he ran out to the car and said, man, you know our stuff? And I was like, yeah, somewhat. And so I ran, came in. Next thing I know, they was turning the drums around. But I was like, oh, he want me to play drums. So I played drums. That's yeah, how it all started. Night. Yeah, and then later on, it was I went to percussion. Started playing percussion. And so like. Wakongo? Yeah, nah. Um, Timbali. Yeah. Timbali. Yeah. Um, so Sam, whenever one of them was late, I would fill in until they got there. So I would come to the show with my rototons, bass, drum, snare, everything else in the Wow. Car. So if any whoever's late, I just fill in until they get there. Mr. Handyman right there. Keith, <laughs> well, how did you get with Benny Man? Where, where, where did he discover you from? Man, I'm a, I tell everybody this. Y'all not going to believe this one. The only reason I got in Benny's band when they first started... DJ told him he had a bass player, and that was me. Rest in peace, BJ, yeah, man. man. Oh, He's still in the room. Yeah. So He's still in the room. I owe BJ everything. For me, in this city, I owe it to BJ. Wow, man. Came down there. I did this one little riff, man, with some harmonics. Mark, Mark Godfather went crazy. <laughs> and he's, that was it. That one little lick put me in the band. And that's where it all started. I started there from the beginning, probably like the first five years. I don't remember when it started, but um, it was at that time you had um, BJ, you had Marky, you had Godfather. No, Marky wasn't there. You had Dern. Yeah. Wow. Dern. Yeah, he's, he's down in um, who? Dern. Oh, Dern Grace. Yeah. Dern yeah. Grace. You had Dern, you had Byron, Godfather. Um, Left-handed guitar, well, um, boogie, boogie dudes, dudes. Ula Tony on Congos. Wow, Ula Tony, shout! He might be here tonight. He here every week. DC, Benny and it's CJ. The yeah, DC hey, from Razz. Hey, no, no, I'm saying the group. Yeah, yeah Benny the Masters. Masters. Yeah, and uh, yeah, them were some damn masters right there. Mark, and of course, Godfather came up with the name because you know uh, he man and then was out that time yeah 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 and uh he picked the masters but um and we had antonio on drums so, that's a good unit yeah. right there yeah it was, it was, that's a real good unit and then not long after that i must have lunch in there 
Kigo came on that, that, man. Up that group right and there. me and Kigo, you know, all the gigs, <laughs> you know, I, everybody pay up in the, they got their homeboys in the band. Me and Kigo, you know, that was my little, you know, my little road dog. So we rode all the gigs together. And thanks to them too, that's how I got the band. <laughs> And they were late. So you find out history right here, man. Yeah, that's history, Number history to me, man. Joe. I didn't even know. I don't remember that group. I did not know, man. Yeah. When the yeah. little dub them coming to buy them? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I remember. That was way. Yeah. I don't remember Tony playing. I, okay, if Tony was playing, Elmo must have passed away. Yeah. He, no, 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 no. Elmo hadn't gotten the group yet. We had, oh, a, well, we had a show one day at... Uh, <laughs> Panorama room. Okay. That's what we want. And we didn't have a Congo player, and everybody in the crowd kept saying, "Shorty going up there." Elmo came up there. That's how he got in the band. That's how he got in the band. That's what. That's the one thing about Gogo, man. You never know how people actually get in the bands because I did not know that myself. Because yeah. Elmo just popped up out of nowhere to me. You know, I did not know who he was. Mickey Mick. Man, with you and Lil Benny, man, like I said, y'all have a, a long, illustrious history together, man. I, um, you know, from Ray Essence to the Masters to just seeing y'all on stage together to the legends. Um, what do you what do you attribute to y'all's chemistry, man? Because you guys had a real good chemistry together. Whenever you guys were on stage together, I noticed that you had a real good chemistry. What do we, what do you attribute to that? I, I don't know. I mean, we talk. You know, we talk a lot. Yeah. To you know, just being around each other. Other than that, on stage, I mean, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's just God a gift. Yeah. It's easy to give it to Mickey, man. <laughs> yeah, no, don't, don't get me wrong. I can give. I didn't give it to Mickey here. <laughs> it's easy. But think about it. Mickey though. Yeah. Uh, what I'm what I'm saying is with Mick and Lil Benny, you know, waka waka Mick. He just. But he. But another thing, he always a lot of times. He, you know, you want to get that money. Yeah. So, you know, I ain't gonna do it with you. We gonna split the money. When I call you up there, you know it's all. So you right. gotta be ready. Right. To play whatever part he he give you, cause we did that early early Thursday, I think. Me and him and Funk up right. on stage with with a uh, uh, subtle. We never practiced that. It just happened that There's way. Just appearances. Yeah, every week. Yeah. Fat Cat had his every every week, the second half. And me and Benny never, you know, there's no way we could practice. Me and him practice together, other than me and him talking. But father on stage, it just happened that way. Okay, what do you miss most about your brother, man? Oh, I mean, sh the talks. I mean, it's I mean, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of things. Yeah. I mean, you know, we get a lot. Off of air, uh, off air, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, we. I mean, like I said, we hung every day. We wasn't about to go, but we is, we is our family, man. Stealing, stealing twelve packs of beer, running the store, take, take a case, and take two cases, going to uh, the ham jump. All that stuff. <laughs> Take the turkeys out. Of. What's the ham joint out for? With? We, had, we did a lot. Honey baked ham. Yeah, honey baked ham. Honey baked. We used to go on there. Oh man, we. Used to... I mean, we did a lot. Play right. football. Put the boys. Put the boys go to sleep. We playing. Say, yeah. You know, drink Hennessy, right? You know, I'm like, nah, I don't like Hennessy. Before you know it, both of us are on the floor with our heads again, <laughs> 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 playing football. Right. I mean, we. That's all we did. You know. Out that's why I, I had. That's, we, that's why I had to have you here, man, because I know uh, you guys' relationship um, it, it was like one of a kind, and it's, it's very rare that you see. Uh, you know, you, you you have a lot of situations like that when you got two people that's close, right. as him and Lil Benny was. But it's very rare that you can see uh, two top tier individuals that was that were as close as these guys were. So I applaud that, man, because. We don't have that, that camaraderie right now and go-go right now so but we're gonna do our um, our best to fix that situation. Two four oh four five 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 nine three four. You wanna call in, holler at the greats, man. We here sitting here with Go Go Make It a Goat, Terry Lambert, and my main man Keith Swole. Snowden. I keep calling him Swole. I, I, I wish they ain't got them here. <laughs> pumping a little bit there. <laughs> Meantime, between time, we're gonna take a little crank break, man. Come right back after these messages on the hobby conga eye. No one show, go go. That's right, I said it. They said it, but I said it too, man. Let's go, DJ D Money. Hey! Let me show you. Let me show you the way to go. It's time to go, go, get on down now. Everybody get on the get on down now. Let me show you. you. Let me show oh, oh. you. So 
Yeah, 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 it's your boy Hobby, man. He's tempting me, he's tempting me. Now you like me, you're done that pop out loud. Before you talk, I'm a Hobby Kong guy, man. Red Shotgun right now with my main man, DJ D Money. Man, that little Benny stuff, boy. Uh, hey, look, man, you taking me back right there, bro. They outside partying and everything, I, man. I, I was getting ready to go back a little bit on them, a little hey, bit. Bro, hey, bro, you're doing a magnificent job, as always. I I'm not surprised. I, I really expect it because, to me, you're one of the best <laughs> to ever do it, man. man. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for, uh, for coming through on this joyous occasion, man, because there's nothing like celebrating somebody like little Benny. And what wow. we have to do, man, is keep our legends up. Uh, 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 above water because a lot for of times sure. they're thrown to the side by a lot of individuals in the global community and one thing we do up, we do up here at the Hobby Conga we're going to make sure that everybody gets their just due because one for them one be no us that's so, real and I tell all the young global community man know where you came from before you know where you're going yeah hey can I tell you about my little Benny story talk to me I man. actually have one um, I was look I was young I uh -huh. think I was still in high school right and um, I was riding my bike uptown okay. you know everybody know him from up top and uh, it's a school up there called St. Gabriel's. It's a Catholic school. Okay. And um, I'm riding by and I heard the sounds okay. coming out the little gymnasium. They used to have little dances. And if, if you if you 40 and over, you already know the little stigma that went with the Catholic school girls. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I'm like, Regina. man, oh they, got a, they got a party going on. They got go-go. So I slid on up in the go-go, right? Okay. And it was Lil Benny and the Masters playing. But this one particular night, man, Lil Benny must was having a cold, wasn't feeling good, but he was still doing his due. Okay. So he was getting ready to play Cat in the Hat. Gotcha. But, like I said, his voice was a little messed up. He wasn't trying, you know, under the weather or whatever. Yeah. So he was like this. Who in the crowd know, the, know this song right here? And you know me. Uh -huh. I never was scared of the mic. <laughs> and I'm in the pit raising my hand. Right, right. And uh, he called me on stage. And let me tell you. I think I hit his part, Luther part. I hit everybody on the front line part. And right. Lil Benny was like, oh, shawty, you act like you know all the words to the song. And you did. Man, I knew everybody part. Man, that was like the only time I graced the stage with the with the helicopter, man. You can't tell me. You couldn't tell me nothing after that. Cause man, oh, Dudes man. from the hood was in the party, and they was like, uh -oh. young, I, I thought you was hitting with the other bands I was messing with. And when you get with Lil Benny and them. So you know what came after that. Uh, I let them tell the story. Won't catch me, you know, lying because that just wasn't happening. Oh man! But the ladies was on me for, from there on out. So man, that was my little Benny shout, and the master's to moment. Lil Benny I was and a DJ master D for one money. for one night. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. man. So rest in peace, man. My, let Benny. me tell you about my episode with Benny, man. Oh um, boy, man, they were playing a block party somewhere, man. Um, he called me up that joint, man. I must have lost my mind, man. Just to hear him say, hot beat, make him on the feet. Just, just hear his voice, you know. Right. Somebody that you grew up listening to, uh, like me and my brother, man, we would, we would uh, during the Central Groove days, we would, R.E. was like our superhero. So right. we would sit in the bedroom and just listen to R.E. all day and all night. And, and, and Lil Benny was like Rick's goddamn uh, role model. Right. You know, Rick thought he was Lil Benny. He was standing in the mirror like, so what? <laughs> just rehearse saying say everybody what, try and get that voice. On up. get that you know get that i used to be no nah, young you got to do the gravel get a little bit of gravel in your voice i said what no nah, dog a little bit more gravel you know and believe it or not it was a lot of bands out here back in the day and kigo and keep y'all can attest to this every band had to have a funk and a benny clone in their band right or wrong true you that. had to have somebody sound like funk you had to have like for instance reality Pork and Rick. Prophecy. Prophecy. Saeed and Rick and Lil Rick. Everybody. Central Groove. Skinny and Rick. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had to have like a Little Benny clone and a James Funk clone. Well, we can keep it there. As you know, you had uh, Terry Lambert on. And he yeah. did mention a band that he was coming from. Total Experience, who okay. I was playing with. What? Um, you ain't know that? See, I'm we connecting the dots tonight, man. Like, I, see, yes, I did, let I did me not tell know. you, when, when Terry went to Lil Benny and to, to do the show, all of Total Experience kind of lived our dream through through Return. our brother on go. stage that night. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It yeah. was like, if he made it, then we felt that we made it. And that's it. how it's supposed to and be, And you brother. just mentioned you always had a Lil Benny and Funk. Total Experience had myself and Money Man. Everybody Get knows out of here. Money Man was the Funk Money clone. Man's the Money Man. Yeah. So, a funk. That's the closest one. Oh, let me think. It had to be between Money Man, Rick from Reality. Money Man, Rick from Reality, and 
I won't say, I think Ed from Air Raid was like a cross in between both of them. Both of them combined together. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Ed had his own, you know, his own style. Yeah. You know, at that moment, man. So that's what it was, man. 8 10 p.m. each and every Tuesday night, man. You like me at that pop by live music. For you.com. Sitting here with the legends, man. We got Kigo coming on board. We got Tony Shop getting ready to sit down. We got uh, my main man, who else? D, D here? Yeah. D's here, man. And, and uh, also, we got uh, Lil Brenny's brother, uh, Brandon. He's here, too. So we're going to take a five minute crank brack. I said crank brack. Yeah, you did. What's a crank brack? What's they a, get what's excited a, what's, like what's that. I get excited brack, like that, too. Huh? A crank brack. Yeah. That's a new word of dictionary. I'm going I'm to I'm have to do something. You know, we'll make up anything. We're going to make something up at, at D Money. Crank brack. Brack, crank, brack, B R A C K, <laughs> crank, brack. That's what we gonna do, man. So, uh, everybody's outside the studio right now. They can hear me. Tony Shop, come on up in here. Uh, Kigo, I need you up in here. Brandon, I need you up in here. And also, D, come on up in here, man. We are gonna sit y'all down in a few minutes, man. Meantime, we keep it locked as we rock. Two four zero four five 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 nine three four. That's two four zero four five 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 nine three four. We gotta pay some bills, man. After these messages and after this quick crank break, my main man DJ D Money on the ones and two. Yes, sir. Thank the Lord that he's here. Let's go! Big June. What's up, Party Mo Live? Big June, baby. Yeah. 
Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Or should I, or should I say it like the deacon said? Yes sir. Yes. Sir. Man. Oh, oh, nice well, with this. well. Ladies and gentlemen, we having such a good time today on the Harvey Kong guy. Eight fifty music number two tonight on Eli Beatty dot net powered by Live Music for You dot com. It's a subliminal criminal keeping the middle but depending on any direction type of dude. Each and every Tuesday night, me I am the Steve Harvey. Up, go, go. That's what they tell me. Y'all understand me? <laughs> that's in that song, man. Well, look, we sitting here riding shotgun one more again. If you're looking at these cameras in HD right now, man, that's right, in HD, at this marvelous TV show. We are a TV show slash radio show, y'all understand me. If you're looking at this camera, look, I'm a, matter of fact, let me do some introductions right now. Let me go around here and uh, start with my main man on my left and to your immediate right. This young man is a drum extraordinaire. He plays for this band called Moolah Band. It's Moolah, baby. Wow. And he happens to be Lil Benny's little bra here. My man, man Brandon Williams is in the building. Put your hands together, please, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together, man. <laughs> Sitting next to him, riding shotgun. Keyboard extraordinaire. <laughs> Lord Benny alumni. Laying back in a, in, in a cut, looking at all the fine fat butts. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for my man, man D from Lord Benny alumni, man. Put your hands together. Yeah, Nelka. Sitting next to him is my brother from another mother, or should I say the same two mothers, because they both were like each other mothers. Uh, to me, uh, bad as uh, singer in Go Go history. That's my opinion. These opinions are expressed by Heartbeat itself, not due to the technicalities and, and difficulties of all y'all other singing asses. Takes it to stay. Because he got the left and the piak with the neck with the stick. You better say it. Put your hands together for the legendary. India, I read ready for love type ass. <laughs> Stinking ass brother of mine. Tony Shop, man. Put your hands together. Tony Shop in the bed. And that's why I tell like the, like the drummers breakfast, they come on every Thursday talking about they want to get a sing off against any, any other radio show. They don't realize he's on he's part of my show, so. <laughs> Buggy, Mike from uh, listen whenever y'all ready to do it. Let's do it. Who that right there? Just to stay. Take it to the stage. Ain't good enough. Let him breathe. Okay. And last but not 
<laughs> oh, you gonna go there? Oh, we might put you in a second. I am ready for love. I ain't gonna pass it. He did. He ain't ready. Hey, Let Darren Ness, we have flashbacks. Anyway, last but not least, this dude right here, ladies and gentlemen, with the shades on. This this is my brother from another mother too. Wow. This dude right here, though, let me tell y'all something about this dude right here, man. This dude is the coolest, smoothest cat probably that I have ever encountered in the in Go Go. Because one thing about this this dude right here, he was a when he first came. First of all, his people uh, is the greatest drummer who ever did this. Same last name. Y'all familiar with the name Wellman? That's his last name. This dude was a phenom, still is. When he first came out, man, left-handed drummer. Breaking foot pedals. All I heard was, man, y'all need to hear this dude, man, name. I'm going to say his name in a minute. Y'all need to see this dude, name, whatever, whatever. And through the years, we became close. He's my family now, man. This dude, to me, though, is just, what you see is what you get with him. He's always even-tempered. He, he's never changes to nobody. Always got all the, the stankin'-ass jumps. This dude right here, man, is the smoothest, coolest dude I know. And I always got the shades on. Look at him. He's just smooth with it. Put your hands together for the legendary Kigo Wellman is in the building, man. Wow. Hey, hey, B. I remember when he was my side. <laughs> he was my side. Why Tony got clapped through the applause, though? I mean, talk through the applause. Oh, that's how you're supposed to do it? Yeah. Oh, no, nah, I do it. <laughs> anyway, y'all. South. One more, one more again, DJ D Money, man, for this, uh, this illustrious crew we got right now sitting down at the table. One more, one more round of applause, please, DJ Money, please. I appreciate that. <laughs> We're going to start. We gonna start with you. We gonna start with my man, man D, man. How you feel, man? Everything good, man. Everything. Look good, good, man. Looking swell, brother. And um, appreciate for you coming up here, man. You know, you paying your respects, man. And just celebrating this man's life, man. What did Lord Benny exactly mean to you, personally? Oh, personally, man. Um, you know, everybody used to call him Shawty. Um, Benny was all love. You know, like I was telling my man outside. Um, when I first came to the band, you know, Benny coming from the legendary R.I.E. or whatever, but it had his own thing. This was early 90s, and his band was sort of in a transition. And so um, my man, Pluck, bass player. Oh, yeah, big Pluck. with him at the time, you know. Um, he, we was cool, so he brought me into the rehearsal with him. And he said, yeah, Benny, my man, can play keys. Okay. And so Benny was just like, all right, Shawty, play something for me. And so I started playing all of his stuff. He said, oh, man, y'all know all my shit. All right, we playing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was just like that, you know, from the time I played with him for about three years, from like 90, 93. And um, he was always a good dude, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of whatever he went through, he was always fair, you know, straight up with you as he could be. Um, no ego or none of that, you know, whatever you brought to the band, you know, he was like, all right, let's try it. Let's try it. And so, you know, some of the stuff uh, may not have worked, but he was fed, you know. Right. He would let you bring that. Right. And do what you do. Right. So um, that's what I remember most about Shawty, you know, just a fair band leader, you know, a real good dude, no ego, no pretension about it. That's great, man. Good good, good stuff right there, man. Tony Shaw. Uh-huh. What is your most memorable moment about about the cat in the hat, man. He always say, Tony, man, get your money. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear a lot of cats talking about, woo, about Benny. I, Benny always paid my money. He always told me to get my money. And he was like, man, you bigger than this. He always he always told me that. He said, you bigger than this this thing here. And then he would always let me go, you know? He's like, all right, you ready, Tony? You know? And then when I stepped with him, I even got him with Nacho Soul. You okay. understand my band? And then they was like, you can't get Benny. I said, damn right I can. Oh, can I cut? Yes. Yes, okay. man. I said, damn right I can. I said, I can call him right now. You got his bread? I said, we can get him. Right. You know? So, he, you know, I helped him um, with his situation. And then whenever I called him, just like Nicky and Bojack and different guys from the, you know, later, you know, older guys. They always, you know, when I call them for studio time or whatever, you know, they always come up. I, I can tell you about Benny, man. Benny always made sure I got my money. And he always, whenever I call him, mm -hmm. regardless of whatever he's doing, he'll always come through. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that was one respect that and he made me respect my talent more than when I came from class back. Okay. You know, 
Because the class band wasn't really making no money. We just happened to play. Right. But he showed me the business part of it. This is a damn business. It's not no, okay, woo, woo, woo. Come on out here. You know, so he, he always encouraged me, you know, keep doing what you're doing and, and, and get your money, man. Because these people want to use you and, and don't want to pay you for it. Right. And, and, and that's one thing. And then when he stepped, I just, just love to step. Oh, my God. He, he sized me up. You hear me? Right. He sized me up. And then Ty tried to rap over Benny. He said, let it breathe, fat boy. Let it breathe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Kigo. I know, man. What's up? What's up? Man, put the mic to you, man. You cool ass. This, 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 this dude right here, smooth with the silicone, yeah. man. What's what it do, baby? Where, where you been, man? What, first of all, before we get, where you been, baby? Boy, boy? I'm around, you, man. You around? Every now and then people get a kiggo sight. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Uh, well, thank you, you, man, for gracing us with, with, your, with your presence this evening, my, home, my young brother. You know how we do. Yeah, man. Yeah. And, and I, I, I was so happy to see you, man. You made my evening, man. I seen you walk through the door. You my man. Kigo. It's love. Kigo, um, I mean, when you got with Lil Benny to me, you brought a different sound, too. A uh, different funk, you know. So let's let's start from the beginning. How did you first get with Benny? I, the truth, I was with uh, I was with EU in '86. Okay. Right. So Bear, he really endorsed me and gave me my first professional run. Okay. EU was at their prime. Mm -hmm. Juju left. He went to AMF. And okay. Tino got me in the group. Right. Right. So playing with Bear through that whole summer. That was the days of triple gigging. Gotcha. We played Wilma's Pop, leave Wilma's Pop, hit Cherries. Every every spot was packed. They mm. had their own thing. Yeah. Then leave Cherries and close up WST. Crazy. Mm. I'm 16 mm. years old. Good God. Not even my driver's license. Good God. I'm riding my. shotgun in Ted Van. Mm. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, Ted. The manager for you. Wow. Yes, sir. Ted, so rest in peace, baby. No we go to all Amen. three gigs. You know what I mean? This man can attest. You know, so that was my exposure with EU. All through that summer, it was hot. You know, you come out with Shorty Tim, Kid Go, Foxy Brown, get down. That's That was the little beginning we used to come out with. Right. Right? Benny would be on the opening acts. Okay. Up Cherries or Black Hole. Mm -hmm. Him and Mark, they like, they were best friends. Godfather. 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 always corner me. Cause they was real close with Sugarfoot uh -huh. and Too Tall Steve. Right. Right. Your people's. Right. Your blood. So they would come to me, corner me, and say, "Charlie, you need to be here. Man, you need to leave you." And they would joke, "I know, Bear. You know, you, you know, we cool, but don't tell them. Be telling you know what I mean." So they would say, "How much Bear pain?" <laughs> oh they were corner, right? man! I, was, I said, "Nah." So it was timing. You know, I had a tragedy in my family. Okay. So I quit EU. You know, when you're 16, man, all you want is a, a first PA tape and exposure. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about money. Right. So when you're not doing it for a living, you know, a lot of people are like, damn, man, you, you walked away from EU. You're doing a Capitol Center, all these big shows. But when you have family tragedy, mm -hmm. you're thinking about that. Yes, sir. Benny talked to Rick that night. And him being him, if anybody knows Shawty, he got that little funny side with the devil on one shoulder and anything. <laughs> yeah, so he, so he, he left his. Uh, I get home and he got his voicemail right, and I'm like, damn, this nigga sound like he rapping. You know, <laughs> he, you know he played a, when you hear the joint. So, right. so I call him, and he says, Shawty, I heard you uh, had tragedy. You know, I talked to Rick. You know, you give your condolences, right? So he hit me with. So, uh, what you doing tonight, y'all? <laughs> so I said, I say, so I said, nah, I, I'm not doing nothing, man. I'm, you know, he said, well, uh, I really love to have you come in my band, you know. And I said, well, we can talk about it. He said, well, nah, I want you to come to the Black Hole tonight and play. You already know my shit. <laughs> so I thought about it. So I went outside. Yeah, said, hold on for a minute. And Sugarfoot was outside. I said, man, Benny, I'm, I'm, I'm got him on the phone. Let me stop you right there. See, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, and I ain't mean to stop the story, but just listen to the, these names he he's saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said Sugarfoot was outside. He's talking about Sugarfoot, Ricky Williams, legendary drummer for I Chuck Brown, went to Miles yeah, Davis. Sugarfoot, Ricky Williams, you you guys mm -hmm. seen the Hall of Fame award? That's his that's his big this big cousin. 
and they're talking about little Benny on a voicemail. Yeah. Come up the black hole. He goes outside and talking to the greatest drummer who ever lived. His big cousin. Mm-hmm. Continue. Yeah, so Rick would do sub dates with, with the masters early on. Okay. So long story, because I see him playing on Who Come to Boogie. Okay. Right? So. And the video. There you go. Dun, dun, yeah, dun, and dun, the video dun, dun, at the Metro dun, Club. Dun, dun, <laughs> dun, 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 so, dun, dun, so, so, <laughs> you know, I go out and talk to Rick. You know, Rick like, man, Benny a good dude. Play with him. Right. He wants you to play tonight. You know how Rick talk, you know. Go ahead and play with him. He wants you to play tonight. Go over there tonight. So my homie come, take my drums up to the black hole. Wow. And that's why I befriended Lil Keith as in a musical relationship. Okay. Because he always knew my family. Right. So Lil Keith ended up being like my big brother slash sponsorship. Because I have a good dude, pick man. me up, make good sure. Make Race sure bag, you know, please. Yeah, bass player Keith. So the Keep first night at the black hole. Yes, sir. The, the lineup was myself, right. Little Keith. It was Luther the first night with being a master. He oh, took, he took wow. Mike Muse spot. Okay. We had a guy named Mike on guitar. And then he had Godfather, at that time, Marky, still Dern. Okay. Oh, right? Oh, oh. And then... Uh, that was five. That, that was the group. You know what I mean? And he had, you know, so we did the Black Hole. And once again, we started... That's summer, you get hot. Right. So that led up to the Cat in the Hat album, right. which, mind you, I was still in 12th grade. So I had finals. I did the rough of the song, mm-hmm. uh, Cat in the Hat. I couldn't do do the session, so he got Juju to do it. Okay. So you, you know how Go-Go Band do. Yeah. Whatever you play that summer, that's what your quote-unquote live album is. Right. So all the beats to Cat in the Hat, all that came from me. Wow. P-A-K. All that stuff, Panorama Room, us playing the beats when CJ and all them cats was in the band. That's when you make the set for your live album. Right. And that's what exactly what happened with that. So I played with Benny, man, for a minute. And then I would go back and forth at that. Once uh, 87 came, he, you was in the, in the lab doing the butt. Right. Who knew? You know what I mean? Who I knew? Left, I left, and I was at the particular gig at the 930 Club. When Spike Lee saw Spike you. Lee saw it. Wow. But as a kid, you hear people talking business, mm-hmm. and you see a little guy, you don't take it for truth. Because right. in showbiz, you know, everybody say, man, we're going to get you to do this, we're going to get you to do that. Right, right, right. But he came back. You know what I mean? So I'm going to blend over them all, looking at the movie. And here I see the gymnasium joint. Wow, do, man. <laughs> I'm like, damn. That was you playing that? Nah. It was supposed to be him. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? So, you, 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 you know, timing works out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was always but you, But you know what, though, okay? Key? Like you said, timing works out because, I mean, you, 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 and we're going to bring you up here for, for one-on-one because you have uh, such an illustrious career. That, uh, I mean, from there, <laughs> then, then, then with, with Pop. Yeah, oh, man. Playing oh, with man. Pop. We're going to talk about that late, at a later date because you see Pop right there looking at you, right? Yeah, my man. You one of his sons too, man. Yeah. So and then Benny played with Pop, Pop too. Yeah. It's, it's a triangle for, because, ladies and gentlemen, this night is is, is dedicated to Lil Benny, the helicopter. Uh, to me, it was the greatest to ever do this thing because uh, the man with the big voice, the man with the big horn, will ever need that will never be duplicated. Often imitate, but never be duplicated, man. And Kigo, just you know, just we're dropping bombs all night on here because I'm finding out like D Money told me like. You know, uh, him and uh, uh, Terry played in the band. I never knew y'all even played in the band together, man. Like, you're finding there. I, I know. That's, Terry been around. And you're man. finding out a whole lot of things, man. And um, we great let little Benny brother Brandon on his mic, man. And um, you know, I, and I know this is an emotional uh, evening for him. I'm, I, I, I like to thank you for coming through tonight because he didn't have to come through. Um, little Benny, you know, his brother, man. So I'm just gonna let him. Uh, I'm gonna let him, you know, just have a mic, man. Just say a few words about your, about your brother, man, and you know just. No drum stories, Terry. <laughs> Sound wide now. You know now. the drum story, Kiko? <laughs> nah, I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> Learn me up. But go ahead, go ahead, talk about your brother, man. Just let everybody know, man. Uh, Benny, Benny, Anthony, I call him. Sounds Benny. like him too. Go ahead. Stop that shit, y'all. Uh, great dude. Um, great mentor. Taught me. You know the um, the basics 
Uh, I only played with Benny for Talk to the people, man. A Give year. Me the Talk it was about a year. Oh, the panel back there? No, the camera. Oh, the, the camera. camera. My bad. Oh, okay. It's all, they went here I'm for all you. over the place. So, um, they got played for him not even a year. Wait I was actually. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, my uncle. Wait a minute. No faggots here. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. <laughs> hey, RP, oh, shut man. up. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's my Uncle Brandy. Man, I'm Uncle Beacon. Okay. okay. Anyway, we were down called Pepper, Virginia. I think, I think Kiko, I think you left. Did Kiko leave, sir? I don't know how it happened. I, I got in the band. Went down called Pepper, Virginia. It's my first time ever playing, right? So, uh, he playing church, everybody. Let him know that. <laughs> Let him know that you're a church drummer. Well, yeah, all yeah, all yeah. go-go drummers are playing church. Yeah, basically. Well, I'm letting well, you know about well, him. I, 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 came, know he I came out. I know, but before I even got into church, I played with Ben. And uh, we were now in Culpeper, Virginia. I think I told you that beat. And we were going to do the one-on-one, and I forgot to take it around. Jesus Christ. I'd rather been dead at that time. Is that you on that table? He said, you don't know the one-on-one. <laughs> <laughs> that was him. That's oh. Wow. But no, what, that, and what that happened was, I was so used. I well, that, well, that wasn't you when he said, you don't know, open up the gate. Oh, no, no, no. That wasn't Okay, no, go ahead. No, no, no. But I had never, you know, I had never played in that type of arena. I mean, come on. I was a church drum all my life. I've been playing in church since I was like three or four. Right. So I ain't know nothing about no signals and no taking around and no none me. of that. I was just up there just locking it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he could have knocked my ass off them drugs, man, because I, I think I embarrassed him uh, more than I embarrassed myself. But after that, he talked to me. He's like, you know what? He said, you got it. You just have to, I think it. Uh, Own your skills. Over, man. Yeah, he was over on Washington Heights at the time. Right. He said, you just got to own your skills. I know you're not a church. I mean, I know you're a church drummer, but I'm going to show you something different. Right. So, you know, but other than that, see, I I mean, I know both sides of Benny. I know to get home, want to pop a Heineken, want to sit back, look at those charts. I mean, when I, I, I came over his house one time, I mean, he kept me over there for almost to four or five o'clock in the morning. I wound up going to sleep. He said, fuck it, I ain't going to work. But he was sitting down writing out some church charts for Verde and White from Earth 1 and 5. Wow, man. I couldn't believe it, man. I'm just like sitting up like, this dude. And then he called me on the phone. Didn't he, didn't he play for, uh, what's that little gifted, uh, what's that little Mike? Duke Ellington? You talking about little Mike Wade? Little Mike. Okay. Yeah. Mike. Well, I don't know. I just know he called Clearly. Verde and White on the phone. And that's when I was just like, oh, my God. This dude is yeah, yeah, yeah. Going. You know all what I'm saying, Kiko? Uh, Charlie, man. Yeah, all of them. Steve, let Before me y'all don't know who Verdine White is, Earth, Wind, and Fire, the bass player, they look like Ashley Simpson and Charlie Fenwick. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, hey, B. I can't forget to say I gave, I'm on wow. his Give Up What You Get in the album, too. Tony Shop. We're going to get to you next, I Tom. forgot about that. I'll be forgetting about stuff, man. I got you. Tony Angelino. <laughs> well, it's my own way. But anyway, I mean, I knew the side of Benny that, you know, that a lot of people really didn't see. Except for, I mean, it's a very few of us. Uh, Tony, uh, Tierra. Just spending time with him and time with the kids. Ben, Ben, Brian, Brandon, Tierra, Torian, you know, Taylor. You know, just spending time with them as a family, man. And, and he was about family. And, you know, he came to the shows or whatever. But, I mean, he did what he had to do because he was that dude. You know what I'm saying? But I had a lot of respect for him. But I, it hurt my heart when I told him that, I, you know, I had to stop playing because I just, you know, I was in my second year in the cadet program. So I was actually turning over to be a police officer. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you going to do this or you going to do this, but you ain't going to do both. So I had to make a decision. And I chose, to, you know, the police department, which was a good decision. You know, I think, and he was good with it. You know what I'm saying? He gave me his blessings and everything, and I, I just took it. I'm, hey, I'm still rock and rolling today. You know, so I know that side. So. That's what's up. Man. Hey, B. What's up, man? Tell Uncle Brad to let y'all know I got him back in the loop. He won't tell that. Okay, we talking about <laughs> ben, we talking about him. Benny right now. <laughs> we still talking about Benny, but he, he wouldn't play. I would. I, I, I was to play. Okay. play in the I practice. I refused to play. I refused. I refused to play number one because it was sense, a sense of emptiness to me. You know what I'm saying? You going on stage and you're not hearing that stick it or none of that is just like you just there. Right. You know, 
And so uh, this dude right here, man, he got me to come to Natural Soul rehearsals and all that other stuff. And next thing you know, I was going up to Pink Studio to rehearsal. And then there's another group, Tice. He got me to come and play with the stars. And then from there, it went to Moolah. And I've been with Moolah. I've been going strong. I've been going on you know, four years in October. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, when was the, what was the last thing you said to your brother, man? Last time I said, last time I saw Benny, I was all going up Martin Luther King. He was living on 71st. No, actually, he was living in Cambridge. He was going down Martin Luther King. I was going up. He stopped. I stopped. I was like, where you going? He was like, I got to play tonight, Charlie, down at Capitol Ballroom or something, something like that. I was like, all right, uh, call you tomorrow. Uh, no, he said, tell Tierra to call me, and I'll call you tomorrow. And that was the last thing I said. Love you. And that was it. That's what it is, man. Sitting here, man, with the one and only uh, Brandon Williams, little Benny's brother, man, Tony Sharp, man, King Will and Ryan Shaggy with me, man, Harvey Conga, each and every Tuesday night, 8, 10 p.m. on your life media, that Powered by Live Music. For you, dot com, we're going to let Tony Sharp, um, do a little chirping for me, man, because uh, we want to, um, you know, it's approaching the, the, the 10 o'clock hour. It's been a, such a joyous occasion this evening. Tony Shop, what uh -huh. you going to hit for me? The NERE or the Donnie Hathaway, man? Which one you going to hit for me, man? Donnie Hathaway. We're going we, we gonna 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 to dedicate this to Lord Benny, man, and the family, man. It's last year, the same thing. Okay, we're going to do it every year. Can I say something, though? No, we're going to sing right quick, man. What you going to what you, gonna, what you got to say? That's why y'all don't like me on the radio. That's everybody. But anyway, uh... Yeah, Benny, man, that's my, that's my heart. That's I my hear harmonica. Man. What's going on with the harmonica? Nah, that's me. That's my fault. Oh, that, no, country ass. Right. Man, I thought that was the life. Come on, man. Sound like I'll a slave, John. Uh, sound like he gonna escape. Uh, he running through the woods with that music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lies. do I got to do the whole song, B? I just don't want to. If y'all want Donnie, I could do Donnie. I could do another I want to dedicate. I want to dedicate this to, to Lil Benny, man. I want you to, uh, <laughs> you know how you do. Do this for Lil Benny, man. This thing don't come out like this. It's radio, Mike, man. Shut up, down, down, down. Hold on. Ooh, oh, yeah. Um, okay. Come on, Tony. I was thinking about... uh. Since, since, the, word, since, since a lot of, lot of, lot of us, is, uh, we getting older and we, we're passing on. And uh, to me, it's a good thing because I came up in church, whether people know it or not. I'm just Peter in the Bible. I cut your ear off or whatever I got to do. But at the end of the day, it's a lot of us passing on. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was thinking about this song. I'm going to do a little bit of beat. And if you don't like it, I'll change it. All right? Go ahead, though. For all we know, we may never meet. Again, but before you go, make this a moment sweet again. We won't say good night till. The last minute, I'll hold out my hand, and my heart will be in there for we know. This may only be a dream. We come and we go like the ripples of a stream. So love me tonight. Uh, you. Put your hands together, man. Good God Almighty, boy. Sing, boy. Good God Almighty, there, boy. Yes. Right. You That's want me to go on? Yeah, you can give me one more before we go off the air, man. Give, hit me that uh, in the uh, NEI rig, John. I might dance around like a ballet girl. So. NEI rig or Donnie? No, hit the Donnie, John. Hit the Donnie, John. Rudy, come on over here, Rudy, man. I've got to get you on air before you leave. Come man. here, Rudy. Come right here. 
Come on over here, Rudy. Me and Rudy got a joint called Mama Said. Mama Said. Where that Mama Said joint at? You got it. I sent it to you. Oh, that's right. So, you know what? It's on, it's on my other DJ. All right. Uh, let me get in this. This is for Little Benny. I did it last year. I think, wasn't it last year, Uncle Brandy? Uh, I think so. No. At the no, other jump. No, 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 that was like two years ago. Yeah. But I get behind. I'm getting older. Tony Shop, can you hurry up? <laughs> Don't be rushing me, boy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? That was wrong with Donnell Floyd. He can't rush with the shops. Uh oh. Let's do uh -oh. a shop. Come on. I can walk off his stage and go home. Uh -oh. Where he but from? anyway, uh, uh about him for? Durant X, I love you. <laughs> but uh 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 What did you say? Donnie had the way beat? Uh uh. Yeah, he said Indy uh -oh. High so, start off beat. Beat said Indy Ari. Boy, you getting a lot of love right now. High here. start off beat. Beat, what'd he say? <laughs> Donnie Hathaway, man. Ari. Give some Donnie. Oh, no, give some Donnie. Give some Donnie. What's wrong? Oh, right. Uh, 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 Lifetime Jones. Right. Sing the song for you. Come on. Oh. Give me something. Give me something. Shout out to Tina Michelle. What's up, baby, baby? I've been so many places in my life and time. I've sung a lot of songs. I made some bad rhymes. I've acted out my life. Let me bring it down. I've acted out my life in stages <laughs> with 10,000 people watching. But we alone now. And I'm singing this song to you. Doom, doom, doom. I know your image of me is what I hope to be. You better sing before I knock you in your head. <laughs> I've treated you unkindly. You're rushing me. But darling, can't you see? Doom, doom. There's no one more important to me. <coughs> Baby, can't you see through me? But we're alone now. And I'm singing this song to you. Good God. Put your hands together, man. I want to turn the shot, man. Good God Almighty. Hey, I love you, Benny, forever and ever. Amen. Wow, man. It's been such a... Everybody, look, we look, we can get off the air now because everybody, whoever ain't make it by 10 o'clock, you know how it is, man, with the balls, man, man. He turned the lights off at a certain time, meantime, time, 20 times. I like to thank all our co hosts that came through, all the uh, co hosts we came through. I call them co hosts, I don't even call them guests, man. I, I want to spend a special shout out to my man, man, DJ D Money, for coming through, man, from the uh, Party Mode Lab. D Money, thank you for coming through, brother. Yes, sir, anytime, man. It's, it's a it was a it was fun, man. I ain't seen my cousin in a while. Yeah, man. I ain't seen Tony in a while. Right. And, right. You know, see some of these dudes, I used to see them on stage now. <laughs> I'm out here mingling with them, man. So uh, you better yeah. know what? No, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's what it's all about to me. This is what it's all I about. I appreciate you, man. Like I said, we you know, you know what's going on. I ain't gonna say it no more. Rudy Rude, before we get out there, what's happening? Man? Let everybody know what's am, going on with you, on? man. Yeah, you on, man. Speak up. Back on man. Record, man. That's where I got my first start with Benny, man. Yeah. Benny, yup. Yeah, my, I remember my first show. It was uh, October uh, 31st. It was a frat party. Halloween? Yeah. With the helicopter? With the helicopter. Wow, hey, man. I came to the show, and the helicopter was like, where your keyboard at? I was like, so Mark let me use the car, because I rode with him. I went and got my keyboard. And guess who showed up at the show? Who? Steve Harvey. Wow. Benny ain't know. I was on the front line with Benny. So I kept on look. Steve Hart, this when the Kings of Comedy. Yeah. Bernie Mac was on the, uh, Bernie Mac was outside in the limousine. Yeah. And I think they had a spot in uh, Cedric. Mm -hmm. So we was playing. I can't remember when we was playing. But I looked up. Steve Hart was up there dancing, right? So I said, I, well, I'm nudging. I know y'all can't see me doing that. I'm nudging Benny because he ain't even, I don't know. He said, Benny, that's Steve Harvey right there. And I hit him again. And then he finally looked and said, that was Steve Harvey. Mm. So uh, Steve Harvey, he started, he was dancing. And Benny started acknowledging him. So the, the second night, the night after that, they had to show the, at, it was the. Capital Center. Was it Capital Center? Or the Verizon Center. Yeah, I think it was the Verizon. Verizon Center, the Kings of Comedy. And he was talking about, boy, that little Benny had me dancing all night long. And I was like, man, that was my f 
first time playing with the band, I, was, I hung with the band because Godfather was my man. Right. So um, he is your man. Yeah, he is. That's my friend. That's my man. Everybody got Godfathers. Everybody got Godfather stories. God, but God, yeah, that's my man. That's my man. So if, if you know what I'm saying, I was in the right place at the right time because it always happened like that. Yeah. You know, especially in this music. Yes, sir. It happens like that, and, and I was blessed, you know what I'm saying, to be a part of that, you know what I'm saying, okay. of playing with him, the helicopter, you helicopter. know what I'm saying? Had a helicopter call me, fussing at me, all of that stuff. <laughs> no, this is what we're going to do, man, because we got to get off there. We're going to bring <laughs> you in anyway, next week. Love you, we're gonna bring you. We're going to bring you back next week and uh, premiere y'all, y'all song nah, called Mama cool, Say. Man, I appreciate Cat it. in the hat, I used to do smack, a daddy does dagger, can't get it girl. back. Anyway, look, y'all, tune in next week, man. We got a big show lined up for you guys. We're celebrating the birthday of the legendary Smokey from EU and also Bo Beatty from Black Alley. So wow. next week, you're going to see about 25 Congo players in here. Wow. That's what CPU Ooh, does when we get together. You're going to see Mickey's going to be here. Foxy Brown's going to be here. Rocksteady's going to be here. Uh, Smokey's going to be here. Uh, uh, Bo Beatty's going to be here. Can we play Mama's Head down? Nick's going to be here. Who said Billy? I said Bo Beatty. I ain't say nothing about Billy. Billy can't come in here. No, no, no Bill can't come no, in No, no, what it is, Billy it's Bo Beatty's birthday, actually. We're going to celebrate everybody. Oh, All the Congo players, CPU, uh, Congo Danny, uh, 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 you name them. Kareem will be here. Smoke will be here. Gotcha. Everybody will be here next week, man. So you're going to see, a, like like you did last time, you're going to see like 25 Congo players lined up outside that door. And we're going to love Smoke. I mean, I'm sorry. We're going to love Bo Beatty. We're going to love uh, Smokey because they're all part of CPU. We are a, a dynamic organization. Uh, non-profit organization love will be here uh, you name them they'll be here walker reds will be here you know uh, and that's what it is man each and every tuesday night man i'd like to thank dj d money for riding shot with me this evening man yeah always a pleasure man all the guests that came through all the guests that tried to make it through man all the guests was trying to call in sorry i couldn't answer no phone calls we want a tight schedule guy here kind of late dj d money held it down as usual man so lean time between time y'all each and every tuesday night 10 p.m on like media that Pop by live music for you that comes hobby con guy Tune in each and every Tuesday, man. Go tell it like you tell everything else, man. CPU day next Tuesday, y'all. Happy birthday, Bo Biddy. Happy birthday, Smokey, man. We out of here, man. Let's go. Shorty gone. Why? God, they say you don't make no mistakes, but I know you're taking them for some reason, a wake-up call or something. But Biddy, we love you. Rest, my brother. My brother And when you get time and We know That you can bring that heavenly band for us up there You along with Foots, Reds, Mike Hughes Brother Dyke and all the gang Just bless my brothers But Benny Sir, we thank you, man. We got your back. So, hold up. Wait a minute. It's going to take a lot, bro, to do it without you. It's going to take a lot to not bounce it off you. But to know you. Bigger than you.